In the fourth question, I have to expand each of the given expressions using suitable identities. If you observe each of the six questions, they are all squares of trinomial expressions. So the identity that we can use in this question is a plus b plus c whole square expanding a trinomial. So a plus b plus c whole square is a square plus b square plus c square plus the cross terms 2ab, 2bc, 2ca. So this is the identity I'm going to use for each of the six questions. So the first one is x plus 2y plus 4z whole square. So I can expand this as x square plus 2y whole square, that's 4y square plus 4z whole square, so that's 16 z square. Now let's write the cross terms in a different color. So 2ab, so a, b is 2xy, 2ab will be 4xy. Then there is 2bc, now b is 2y and c is 4z. So bc is 8yz, 2bc will be 16yz. And then there is ca, so ca is x times 4z, uh, which is 4xz. So 2ca will be 8x. Z. So this is the expanded form of uh, the first part. Now let's go to the second one. In the second one, we have 2x minus y plus z whole square. So the expansion of this will be 2x whole square. So that's 4x square plus minus y whole square. That's y square plus z square is z square. Now let's write the cross terms 2ab. So what will be 2ab in this case? We have 2x, we have minus y. So that's minus 2xy times 2. So that will be minus 4xy. So we'll actually have a minus sign here. So minus 4xy. Then we have 2bc. Now b is minus y and c is z. So bc is minus yz. So 2bc will be minus 2yz. And then finally, we have 2ca. So c is 2x and a uh, c is uh, z and a is 2x. So we have 2ca will be 4xz. So this is the expanded form of the second part. In the third part, we have minus 2x plus 3y plus 2z whole square. So how will this expand? So we'll have the square of minus 2x is 4x square, then 3y whole square is 9y square, and then 2z whole square is 4z square. Now let's find out the cross terms. So I have 2ab, which will be 2 times minus 2x times 3y, so that's minus 12xy. Then 2bc, which will be 2 times 3y, times 2z, which will be 12yz. And then finally, I will have 2 times ca. So 2 times ca, and this will be minus 8xz. So this is the expanded form of the third part. Now let's go to the fourth part. So in the fourth part, I have 3a minus 7b minus c whole square. So I will expand this as 3a whole square, that's 9a square, plus minus 7b whole square, that's 49b square, plus minus c whole square, that will be c square. Now I will have the cross terms, so 2ab, which is 2 times 3a times minus 7b, so that's minus 42, 2 into 3 into 7, so that's minus 42ab. Then I have 2bc, so that's minus 7b times minus c times 2. Uh, because we have two negative signs here, the actual term will be positive. So 2bc will actually be equal to 14bc uh, in this case. So 14bc. And then I have 2ca, which is the product of these two terms. So 2ca will be, in this case, minus 6ac. So this is how the fourth uh, expression expands. Now let's go to the fifth one. The fifth one is minus 2x 
प्लस फाइव वाई माइनस थ्री जेड होल स्क्वायर सो दिस इज इक्वल टू माइनस टू एक्स होल स्क्वायर सो दैट्स फोर एक्स स्क्वायर फाइव वाई होल स्क्वायर इज ट्वेंटी फाइव वाई स्क्वायर एंड देन माइनस थ्री जेड होल स्क्वायर इज नाइन जेड स्क्वायर एंड नाउ लेट्स फाइंड आउट द क्रॉस टर्म्स सो फर्स्ट आई हैव टू ए बी विच विल बी टू इन टू माइनस टू एक्स इन टू फाइव वाई विच इज माइनस ट्वेंटी एक्स वाई देन आई हैव टू बी सी विच इज टू इन टू फाइव वाई इन टू माइनस थ्री जेड दैट इज टू इंटू फाइव इज टेन टेन इंटू माइनस थ्री इज माइनस थर्टी सो माइनस थर्टी वाई जेड एंड देन आई हैव टू इंटू सी इंटू ए सो दैट्स टू इंटू माइनस टू एक्स इंटू माइनस थ्री जेड विच इज एक्चुअली गोइंग टू बी अ पॉजिटिव टर्म दिस टाइम सो दैट विल बी ट्वेल्व एक्स जेड सो दिस इज द एक्सपैंडेड फॉर्म ऑफ द फिफ्थ पार्ट फाइनली लेट्स डू द लास्ट वन सो दिस इज वन बाय फोर ए माइनस हाफ बी प्लस वन होल स्क्वायर सो हाउ विल दिस एक्सपैंड सो विल फर्स्ट हैव वन बाय सिक्सटीन ए स्क्वायर विच इज द स्क्वायर ऑफ वन बाय फोर ए देन द स्क्वायर ऑफ माइनस हाफ बी दैट विल बी वन फोर्थ ऑफ बी स्क्वायर and then the square of 1 that's 1 now let's find out the cross terms so i have 2ab so 2 into 1 by 4a into minus half b so that's minus 1 by 4ab then 2 into b into c so 2 into minus half b into 1 so that's minus b and then finally 2 into c into a so 2 into 1 by 4a into 1 so that will be half of a so this is the expanded form of the sixth part and with that question 4 is completed now let's go to the next question to learn more about how qmath can help you crack school and board exams explore qmath leap a live online classroom program run by highly experienced and committed teachers